So I was just making my rounds over there on Twitter and I happened to see hashtag save social blade trending and I'm like, oh my God, we finally got to sit down and have this conversation. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And in case you missed it, in case you missed the news, the podcast, A Different Lens, has officially launched. It is now available on Spotify. I just got the email that it is available on the Google Podcast format and it'll be up on iTunes in the next day or two or so. So down below, make sure you go follow it on Spotify if that's your preferred one. I will be uh, giving you all updates. So follow me on social media as well, at The Rewired Soul. And podcasts give me the opportunity to kind of dive deeper into different topics, not necessarily like about YouTube or pop culture or anything, but just kind of like life in general and philosophy and just kind of trying to look at things from different perspectives, all right? So getting back to hashtag save social blade. Some of you might be wondering like why? Why are people trying to save social blade? Well, this is something that people have been talking about because YouTube just came out with news that they are changing the visibility of subscriber counts, okay? And what they're gonna be doing is they're basically going to like be rounding them. So when you see them, instead of it saying like, uh, you know, 15.3 million, it'll just say 15 million, right? Or it won't say like 15,366,432, it'll just say 15 million, all right? Now, a conversation's been happening between YouTube and then uh, third-party platforms like Social Blade, like how will that affect their API, okay? So not to get all tech nerdy on you, but a website like Social Blade is pulling data from YouTube for their website to run. And Social Blade is a place where YouTubers can check their own numbers, but anybody out there can go and check the numbers of different YouTubers, all right? There's a the long and short of it. So it's going to affect it and people are freaking out. I see so many fellow creators on Twitter freaking out. I think PewDiePie said something, Keemstar said something, my boy Ionabber said something, and you guys, we have to have a conversation about how Social Blade is affecting your mental health. Not only is it affecting the mental health of creators, it's affecting the mental health of the audience. And like, I, I just tweeted about this too. Like, it literally reminds me of my days in like my addiction when I was like wondering when I was gonna get the next pill that I can crush up and snort and the idea that I might not have those pills anymore, I'd start freaking out. Like that's how people are acting. The same thing happened when Instagram announced that they were playing around with the idea of removing visible likes. And don't get me wrong, like let me make it very, very clear. I am a data nerd, okay? I can spend hours in the YouTube analytics. I can spend hours on Social Blade just kind of looking at things um, because I like to take data and see what I can improve. I like to take data about myself and my life and that that is how I see if I'm improving. How am I doing? What's working? What's not working? So in that sense, I get it. I get it. But on the other hand too, like we have to face the reality that there's a lot of sick, twisted, toxic things going on with these numbers, okay? So one of the arguments that Social Blade has is talking about like the live subscriber count feeds, right? And it talks about the one between PewDiePie and T-Series, okay? Like, I get it, I get what they're saying there, but here's what I want you to think of, of um, Social Blade as. Like Big Pharma, okay? Big Pharma knows they're creating drug addicts with things like opioids. Like, Social Blade ain't dumb. Like, most, if not all major social media um, applications and things like that, they have people who are literally there to figure out ways to get you hooked on their platform, okay? And Social Blade is definitely one of them. They're trying to figure out ways to get you hooked on your plat on their platform. So like, I don't really like how they're like, well, we like to show the numbers and the competition. Like, I want everybody to sit back, sit back for one second and honestly answer this question. Aside from PewDiePie vs. T-Series, when has there ever been a healthy subscriber count feed competition? 
Don't worry, I'll wait. You can't think of one, all right? Like when, when, this was announced, it was right around the time of the, the recent drama with James Charles and Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star, and this isn't new. This is not new, okay? Like, when drama happens and people get quote unquote exposed, like, people are watching the subscriber feeds like it's a freaking blood sport, okay? I made a video about this. I was talking about how, like, at one point, like, when I went into the live subscriber count, there was like over 20,000 people just sitting there watching these numbers go. Just watching, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what is, what is happening? Because we as people, we experience schadenfreude, okay? And that is getting pleasure out of somebody's pain. As a creator, I can tell you this, it's happened to me and I've seen it happen to many other creators. When people don't like you, they like to point out your flaws, right? And something they often do is they point out your subscriber numbers and they use that as kind of a, <clears throat> kind of a, <clears throat> a little jab to you, a little, a little knife stab, right? And that's what blows my mind about creators. Like, oh yeah, hashtag save social blade. Like creators are in such a state of denial if they're not going to admit that things like social blade keep them in a state of anxiety, right? Like you guys, something that I had to work on during my mental health break, something that other creators have talked about. Like, a lot of creators are sitting there refreshing their numbers. Like, I live in Las Vegas, so the best way I can kind of like uh, uh, give you something to relate this to is somebody like mindlessly sitting in front of a, a slot machine or a video poker machine, just completely zoned out, just tapping and tapping and wasting life away, right? And people are doing this with their social blade numbers. They're just refreshing, 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 all right? And they're saying, did I go up? Did I go down? And when they go up, they get a little dopamine hit. When they go down, they feel a little bad about it. And it's crazy that people are, I, I don't know if they're unwilling to admit it or if they actually don't know that it's happening. Like I'm trying to sit back and think and understand, I'm like, okay, create your best argument for having social blade. Like create your best argument, okay? My best argument is it keeps a pretty a pretty long um, track of somebody's growth and different statistics and everything like that. But if I'm being honest with you, the YouTube analytics backend does the same exact thing, all right? The only difference that I see is that social blade keeps us live subscriber count, okay? Now, something else that social blade tried to argue is we like to celebrate milestones. We love to celebrate milestones. <laughs> like, get the hell out of here with that nonsense. Like, I find that so funny. Like, <laughs> it's silly for anybody to sit back and believe, like, Social Blade, like, the, the board members of Social Blade or the creators of Social Blade, they're like, you know what? We need to create a website that, um, you know, really highlights people's milestones. No, Social Blade knows that people are getting addicted to this. And when I see my fellow creators like freaking out about this and trying to make up excuses as to why this thing should exist, I'm absolutely blown away. It reminds me of like an alcoholic who gives you every every excuse on earth, like why they need to go to a bar. Like, no, 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 I don't wanna go to the bar to drink. They just, they just have the best, they just have the best chicken wings in town. You know what I mean? Like, think about that for a second. And I'm more than happy. I am more than happy to hear from all of you down in the comments below. If you wanna present me with your best arguments as to why Social Blade should exist. But here's the thing. For as much as people try to throw social blade numbers in people's faces and everything like that, but anybody who's been around here for eh, the last two months, based on social blade, I've lost a ton of subscribers. The reality is I've gained more subscribers, more new subscribers than a lot of people, okay? I was cautionary to even mention that in this video, but this is something that I realized was that Social Blade was affecting my mental health and and people aren't even seeing the full story with Social Blade. You know what I mean? So aside from Social Blade just creating something where people can watch it like it's a blood sport, keep creators addicted to it, I really don't see the point in why should it why it should exist. All right? And I I hope if any other creators are watching this, if you make some videos about this and like 
you want to change my mind, I am more than happy to hear other sides of this conversation. But from my relationship with myself and Social Blade and my relationship with other creators, my relationship with seeing how the community uses Social Blade, I can't think of too many positive aspects of Social Blade. So with all these changes happening right now, I'm not... I'm not really worried about it. I think it'll actually help a lot of people and a lot of people don't realize how much their anxiety will be reduced, how much their depression will be reduced if they cannot keep obsessing over their numbers. Because at the end of the day, if you are basing your self-worth on those numbers, there are much bigger issues that you need to address, baby girl, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get your name up in the credits, get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there. And don't forget to check out the podcast link down in the description thanks again for watching i'll see you next time